Hey guys, Run with Craft Scissors here with another plan with me. We're in my Erin Condren. I feel like it's been forever since I filmed because I didn't film any extra videos, you guys. Oh my goodness. So we're going to be using this kit from Planning in Blue Jeans. Make sure you check them out on Etsy and you can use code RUNWITH15 for 15% off. I just knocked over my tower of washi. It's fine. <laughs> so I wanted to use Blue Christmas. Growing up, we had um, blue Christmas lights on my house every year. My parents still do. <laughs> so I definitely wanted to do that. Plus, it's the week of my brother's birthday. So it's kind of like a memory of like a tradition of when I was growing up. And obviously, I was growing up with my brother. So there you go. I thought that would be fun. So you can already see a sneak peek of new releases. This is Snowball. <laughs> so this is not a snowman. This is Snowball. <laughs> So I thought it would be cute because <laughs> I was like, I did the coconut and I did the orange and I just thought they were adorable. So then I was like, oh, for winter, I'm definitely going to do a snowball. So here's snowball and you can choose your color of bow as well or no bow if you want a little snowball boy. So then we have um, my custom ornament that says Christmas 2020 with a little silver topper you get to choose. Um, but this was a new release from this week. But these are the clips that I'm using this week. Definitely using my denimish bow. It's like a faux linen. Um, and then this was a new release recently. But I thought I'm trying to stay with the neutrals. Like white. I am incorporating black obviously. Um, and silver. But I feel like there's black in it as well already. And then this is juniper. Like the juniper berry. Um, which is a winter. And then um, I feel like I did the opposite of her Christmas present. <laughs> I thought that was funny. And then I have my blue sparkly pen loop as well. And then I have my little blue wildflower, which I know the green doesn't go, but I like the ice blue. So I don't know. I, I'll probably, if I have to cut one, it'll be this one. <laughs> and then I have my little blue stocking. I don't know why I was going to say chimney. That's on the brain, apparently. Um, and then mine's topped with white, but you can choose gold or silver as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pop over and show you guys this week's new releases. So let me grab those real quick. Let me put this up here very carefully so I don't knock anything else off my desk today. Okay, so you already saw Snowball. Yay! Um, and then going into some new releases for, um, let me see, for New Year's. We have 2021 Mug. Um, I picked uh, Cream and Sugar as my flavor because I'm hoping 2021 is full of sweetness um, and then I have my little mini gold clip on this one and this is made out of our new white really strong um, cardstock you guys can see that thick backing um, so I think that'll help bring some more sturdiness to our clips as well and then speaking of which here's our 2021 word number clip if you will <laughs> so I have two that I'm doing. <laughs> they both say 2021. But I have two planners. So you know. <laughs> but you can get them on regular or mini. Um, this is gold on white. Um, that's not gonna. I'm not doing multiple options. But I'm like well this one's already black and white. So you know. Then you can kind of make it work for you. Um, and then going into the first day of winter. I want to have my winter word clip. So we have that here. This is that new ice blue that I used. Um, on this ornament as well. So. Those match, <laughs> just to show you. Um, and then I put mine on a regular white clip there. And then going in back into New Year's, I did do a New Year's Eve party hat. It's a little black hat with a little asterisk kind of like pom-pom at the top. Um, I did gold on mine, but you will have silver as an option for sure. Because I, I feel like it like either way, kits are both. I feel like there's gold New Year's kits or silver New Year's kits. So I want to make sure I had some options. Um, this one was requested in a live <laughs> that I did during Black Friday. So thank you guys show, oh, for showing up to my lives as well. <laughs> I love it. So um, I got a request to do a pink and gold cupcake for New Year's spreads. Um, there's cupcakes in a lot of New Year's Eve kits. So I did this one. So it's pink frosting, obviously, but it's frosting. Like that's the color name. And then I did gold for the bottom of the cupcake. And then I put mine on a mini pink just because I was being quippy, I guess. I don't know. So, because <laughs> I don't think the kits that I ordered particularly have the cupcake, but that was requested, and I, I'll make a pink cupcake for you, you know? I'll do it. All right, going into New Year's still, um, the kit that I am getting does have some New Year's Eve masks. So, I did put a tilt on this. I thought that would be kind of cute. Um, I considered putting the clip on the side, but it just too, looked too wonky. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, it'll be like the side thing where they're like holding it. But it just looked really funny. So I really like this one. It comes up really high on the peaks and it just looks really pretty and elegant. So I went with a deep, deep blue on that one. 
So that's fun. Um, the bow on my snowball is periwinkle, by the way, if you're wondering what color I picked. Um, and then the last clip release for this week, going back into New Year's, is a sparkly gold bow, and it is so beautiful. It's a little transparent, um, but I'm sure you can't even tell. Um, I can, but I feel like it makes it more whis whimsy. I don't know. So I really like it, but there you go. So it's very similar to the red one that we did. See, it's it. this one's kind of transparent too. It's like the same brand of ribbon. So there you go. So I put mine on a regular gold clip, but you can get regular or mini for this size of bow. So there you go there. Um, this week's freebie, I'll go ahead and show you while we're in the clip zone. <laughs> this week's freebie is going to be this green and white snowflake heart. I did a heart because I wanted to have actual snowflakes on there because I feel like if I did a bow or any other shape, then I would cut off a bunch of them. So I was trying to get you the most snowflakes I could. And then this is the old green paper clip that we discontinued. And I finally found a clip that matched it so I could put it in as a freebie. So I thought that would be fun. And then I backed it with our super thick white cardstock. So it's a very sturdy little heart. Very sturdy. So that'll be cute for winter spreads. So going into clip storage and sticker pockets. So we have one sticker pocket this week. It is winter themed. It's beautiful. If you love purple and gold, this is for you. So I did gold polka dots on kind of a transparent white washi. And then you have these white and gold snowflakes on here. And then you have these pastel, kind of pastel, like a watercolor even, um, stripes going at a diagonal. Then you've got these little gold dots, which is why I did the gold dots um, of the trim there. So that was kind of what I was thinking. So very foily and shiny. And then the back is also foily and shiny. So it has that kind of like mint color. This is not the same, but you guys can see it's kind of like a shade lighter. And then I have a little like, if you want it to be hot cocoa or eggnog or something, I'm not sure. Um, it looks like it's got whipped cream on it, like a little dusting of some kind of spice or cocoa or something. And that has foiling on it as well. So very wintry sticker pocket. Loving it. This is the regular size sticker pocket in case you guys can't quite tell and you can choose your color of tab and also if it's recollections plum um, paper planner Erin condren or happy planner tab and then there's um a variance of thicknesses of the tabs too if you want to check that out and then we have clip storage so i'm going to show you this one this one's not going to be listed as two different ones i know it's that it matches oh i just knocked over the tower of washi again oh tragedy okay so this <laughs> this one has some various um variances that was a terrible sentence oh well so it has a little bit of differences um, but not enough that I'm going to make it two different listings so just know that the pattern varies when you get it so like this one this one has like the row of um, snowflakes I want to say sunflowers my words today but this one has like two rows basically and these ones are a little cut off so that's you know neither here nor there I feel like and then the second page is blue snowflakes you can kind of see this this one is in a different kind of spot okay not that big of a deal and then this one so this one is the one that I made the heart out of so <laughs> I like using coordinating things <laughs> and then we have the pink snowflake and then we have the snowflake with like ribbon going across it so this one's a little bit even lighter than this one behind it and then the ribbon is more of like a darker green and then it's got white snowflakes behind it so just kind of like a wintry wonderland so beautiful so this one i'm probably just going to call snowflakes because it's just snowflakes on top of snowflakes on top of snowflakes love it very inspiring all right so we have those and we have this and we have one more clip storage um this one will be in two different listings just because the houses are different um <laughs> they're not that much different though when you think about it i need to go this way i think <laughs> so you have like a little house and then you have like a little house that's a little bit taller but then both of these are peak houses but this one has peppermints on the front and this one has like little trees okay and there's a wreath on the triangle door over here and there's a wreath on the like i don't know what you call that house but there you go and it's like a wintry scene so this one's really cute i think it's i think i'm gonna call it home for the holidays because i think it's kind of cute that way I love the little like smoke coming out. That's adorable. Okay, so that's page one of each one. And then we have the candy cane stripe, which I did make my freebie out of last week. So if you snag that, awesome. It was a bow freebie that looked like candy canes. And then we have this kind of like a red snowflake or a red poinsettia. It doesn't have a center. I'm not really sure, but it kind of reminds me of like a Christmas sweater. I really like it, but it's like a deep 
deep maroon behind there. And then that red is just so beautiful. And then look, more houses. So this has like all the little houses on it. Isn't that awesome? I love it. And then this one, this one actually reminds me of my house because my parents did have like a dove outline like this made out of wood and it was hung up in our house like since I was a kid. So this one is gray with like the white, um, I don't know, winter foliage. And then you've got your little dove with like snowflakes on them. So that one's kind of cute too. So I'm going to call this home for the holidays, I think is what I'm going to end up calling it. Now the different options, that's going to be harder to name because it's like, what is the difference? There's, they're both houses. Like, I guess I'll say peppermint house and tree house. That's what I'm going to call it. This one's the tree house. This one's the peppermint house. That's my difference. There we go. We found it. All right, let's get to planning, shall we? I think we shall. So if you've never used our clip storage before, um, you can order it Happy Planner Punched or Unpunched. Um, and then if you want it Happy Planner Punched, I punch it with a Happy Planner and you can put it on Happy Planner Discs or snap it directly into your planner if you want to carry a few clips along with you. That's always good too. I did just knock some clips off. Oh well. Okay, so I'm going to grab Snowball because we're going to use her in this spread today because why not? Okay, moving clips to the side. Um, I believe this is more of a mini kit. I think it's a four page one. Um, she has like four, six, and possibly eight, I think. Um, so it varies that way. So I'm going to go ahead. I need to put my date dots on there, but I also need to put my headers on first. And then I did, she has like add-ons too that you can get. Um, so I have some of those. That one has a quote on it. It's pretty cute. And then I did grab some of my cracked foiled um, sheets from I'm a Sticker Addict that I thought might give it a little bit of a snowy sparkly effect. It's what I'm going for. Yes. Okay. We're going to start with our headers. I am going to put my to-dos at the top. This one might turn into a more traditional spread. What did I do last week? Oh, I did go back through and I added um, some overlays as well to this spread. I don't think I did that with you guys. But I did it to those like five boxes. And then I did it to this one too. I added the rose gold there and then right here. And then I added some around this one and around this one. So that was kind of fun too. So that one was a different spread. This one was a different spread. So I think I'm going to go back to traditional for this one. I don't know. I think that's cool. So my brother's older brother, in case you guys want to know about my brother. Um, I've done like video dedications to him before um, as far as like um, sibling question videos and things like that. So I was like, well, I feel like I just did a tag video about like Thanksgiving, I think. So... I wasn't going to do another <laughs> another tag. Okay, I think I need to skip down. I think those are different colors. It's really hard to tell. It's all shades of blue. All I see is blue. There are a couple of houses in my town that do all blue lights. I remember there was one year my dad had trouble finding replacement lights. Oh my goodness, it was terrible. I just remember driving from Home Depot to Home Depot to, what's that other one? Lowe's to Lowe's. We didn't have Menards where I lived. We do now, but, which is funny because we have, um, it's like a snowflake star on the top of my childhood tree. I'm sure you would know exactly what I'm talking about if you had it. Um, I think ours was gold or red. I don't remember the color exactly because my parents have gotten a new one since. But it was funny because my parents, the, it went bad. Like it just aged and, uh. I think my parents had like a snowman or an angel for a while and my dad always prefers to have a lighted up like star or snowflake or something I guess on the top and so one day we were at Menards buying stuff and I realized they had it and so I like accidentally ran out and bought it <laughs> so it's kind of funny because he has one on he has a Menards on his side of town too yeah we have two like <laughs> so I don't know about you guys and then I've heard rumors that we're getting a Costco, so we'll see if that actually happens, but that'll be fun. So I wasn't gonna, I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't doing a whole video of my brother, um, but I have before. I think the last one, when I did it last time, I did it with like a Super Mario kit and stuff because he likes that stuff. Or used to, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. All right, so now we're doing date dots. Okay, so update on back pain, because I know that a lot of you have been messaging me and stuff, and I've been trying to reply as I go. Um, but, okay, so I went to the doctor on November 30th, and then, um, I'm saying the dates, because if I say, like, a day of the week, you'll be like, which week was that? So, I went, 
and um, he barely touched my back and then had me hold out my hands to see if they would start trembling right then, and they wouldn't. Um, and so um, he said that I was going to have a nerve test, which is called an EMG, and that place was supposed to call me and schedule it. They still haven't. Um, and then I said... I told them about, oh, why am I grabbing that one? Because I'm in routine now. I'm just going to grab and stick, grab and stick. Okay, so I think I'm going to put these down and then put the bow washi um, above it. I think I liked how that turned out, unless I need it somewhere else. The hardest. I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll see. Maybe we'll save it till the end. So, um... I asked about getting x-rays. He, like, he wasn't, I don't know. It was my first time with this doctor. I wasn't even supposed to have this doctor. I was supposed to have this other doctor. But she apparently fell ill, and they didn't call me in time to, like, cancel or reschedule or give me a different doctor. And I was already there. I was already filling out the paperwork. And so I was like, okay, I guess I'll see this random other doctor is what ended up happening. So um, I asked him about x-rays. And because I was like, I feel like my back is out and he ordered x-rays and I was supposed to just like leave his office, go around the corner and then get my x-rays done because apparently it's all in one office. So I went down there and they had me put my front to the panel and then stand sideways and raise my arms up. And then... So, got x-rays done and then sent me on my way. Okay. So, then the next day, I get a call. I'm, like, driving. And I'm in, I got a call. And it's his nurse. And his nurse goes, your chest x-rays came back clear. And I was like, what are you talking about? I had back x-rays. And then she's like, please hold. I was like, okay. <laughs> so, at that point, I'm not really sure what's happening. Okay. So, I don't have full box checklist. I have half box checklist. And then I have the freestanding ones, so I think we'll use the freestanding ones, which is totally fine with me. Don't care. Oh, I just grabbed my own fingernail with the tweezers, and that felt weird. I, like, scraped the top of my nail. Ugh. Okay. So then, um, she tells me to hold, and then she goes and talks to him, and she goes, yeah, your chest x-rays are, are fine. And I was like, but he was supposed to look at my spine, so I'm really confused right now. And I was like... Plus, I'm still in a lot of pain, and I still have numbness, so what are we doing? And she said, please hold, <laughs> and then came back and was like, okay, he's going to prescribe you some medicine. And I was like, okay. So then I call my husband and tell him what happened, and he was like, we were both really confused by the fact that she said chest x-rays. There's nothing wrong with my chest. I'm not breathing weird. Um, I haven't had any breathing problems or heart problems or anything like that. Haven't felt any of that. So we were a little confused about that, um, in particular. So I have a friend who's in x-rays and not at where I went. Um, and so I messaged her and said what happened and I sent her a picture of my results that I could see. I couldn't see, they won't let you see your x-rays. Um, you have to like make a visit for that or go to the hospital to get your x-rays. I'm not really sure why. So, um, so I asked her and she's like, no, they should have done a thoracic x-ray. They did the wrong x-ray. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm like, what do I do? And she was like, I'm going to do the Christmas ornament one here. I think, I think that'll be fun. Um, I don't remember where this is from. I'm really sorry. But it's like silver foiled and I think it's beautiful and I never get to use it. All right. So then she says, call them tomorrow and ask to speak to the office manager. I was like, okay. So I do that. Office manager seems just as confused as me. And she says that she'll have his office call me. And so they do. They call me around. Well, it happened to be right at my lunchtime. So that worked out because then I could talk to him. Um, cause I'm not gonna talk about medical stuff in front of my students. So <laughs> they know my back is out though. Obviously I've missed work. They know, like I keep my students pretty informed as far as like as much as I feel comfortable with. 
So, full boxes. So I think that'll be awesome. I was considering putting glitter headers there, but then I decided not to, apparently. Okay, so we do have the theme sticker thing. We have the little hexagon that we could use. And it just says, appreciate the little things. There are so many. So that one's really cute. But we also have extra boxes here, so I might just use one of these. I don't know. Maybe I'll stick it on one of those full boxes. Who knows? I don't know. Okay, so I feel like for Coffee Monday, we need to put the hot cocoa. That's usually what I do. Like a cute little mug, and it's got a little candy cane handle. It's adorable. So then, they call me back and say, no, they did, they did order the right x-rays. And I'm like, mm. <laughs> and so we have a conversation, and then I realize, I get off the phone, and I talk to my husband, and he and I are both left with more questions. So I call back and leave a message. And then she calls me back after school because I was like, I was really confused by all of a sudden they're, just, I don't know. So they call me back. I want to get, I want to use, I think the present. I like the snowflake too, but I'm trying to see the backgrounds here and I'm thinking I want the present there. Um, so I call them back and because I had a few more questions. I wanted to go ahead and see my x-rays but I wanted them emailed to me which that's when I found out you can't do that um <laughs> we don't do that so oh that's cute there's like a little gingerbread man at the top I think maybe I don't know go ahead and grab this one I like the snowman those look like those oreo ones the oreo chocolate dipped oreos so then she calls me back after school after I had left a voicemail and says that and I'm like well I would like a second opinion thinking that like there's another doctor in the doctor's office that could just give me a second opinion apparently that's not how they do that so she the conversation ended with her telling me that if I have any more questions the doctor just wants me to schedule a follow-up visit <laughs> so basically I'm not allowed to ask any more questions at that point and um I was a little annoyed by that, so I called the office manager back and told her what happened, and a different office manager called me back, and that person basically told me that um, I should probably go to a different doctor's office. So <laughs> I don't really know what I did wrong other than question how I was being treated. So there's that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use glitter headers here for my half box area, I think. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the, I go with the medium blue or periwinkle. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I don't think there's a wrong one to choose, but I'm not gonna do a variety of different ones. I'm just the same color all across. That's what I would prefer. I don't know, you tell me. So then I talked to her and I was like, well, I'd like to stay, in the area of where this office is because my husband and my son go to this one and he's like okay do you have a different doctor you'd like to see and so i'm gonna go to my husband's doctor i gave her his name and uh he had a cancellation apparently for monday so i'm starting all over with a new doctor um, who is kind of in the same office, but a different building. Um, but I guess she oversees that one too. Um, so we'll see what he says. Cause I also, yeah, that was the other thing. So I had x-rays at the chiropractor. And so my question was, had they gotten my x-rays from the chiropractor yet? And it was no. And so then I was like, okay, well, if you got the spinal thing and I'm still in pain, what's the next step? And they were like, well, physical therapy. I'm like, okay, are you going to order physical therapy? And so it, I just felt like I had to continue to advocate for myself as a patient, like telling him to help me. So I don't know. I just didn't like it. So going to a new doctor, um, guessing that he might say that the other guy wasn't wrong to order those x-rays because they work within the same office, which is fine, but I would like for him to order me new x-rays that will actually help me 
So I'm not going to try to pattern block right now. Not going to happen. Okay. Looking back, I should have put the present on my brother's birthday. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> he doesn't care. <laughs> he doesn't watch my channel. <laughs> not unless I tell him there's a video about him. <laughs> Maybe he oh, <laughs> will be, like, sad that, like, this video is not all about him. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I doubt it. So, um, anyway, I'm supposed to be state testing <laughs> in my class on Monday. So I had to, um, and this all was all going down on Friday. So I, I texted my department head and was like, Hey, cause he's knows, he knows what's been going on with me. Um, I've known the guy since I was, student, he was my cooperating teacher since I was student teaching. So, um, we've known each other for, I think we said 11 years. So <laughs> I told him, what was going on and everything and he was like okay um go ahead and email it's our admin that's over testing and i was like and i was like okay and he goes if he doesn't email you back by saturday let me know and i'll text him and i was like okay because i'm not gonna text my like eh, he's not my boss boss but he oversees things so <laughs> he's above me <laughs> and above my department head so <laughs> anyway so we um he didn't, he, he's been taking care of a kid and stuff, so he didn't message me back, and so I texted um, my department head back and said, yeah, you're probably going to need to call him. So he calls him, and he said, yeah, it's fine, we'll just have a teacher cover, no problem. Um, and I had already printed my, the kids have login passwords and, like, access codes and stuff, and that was already out on my desk because, you know me, I'm always prepared. Um, and so my appointment is at 840 but I have to be there at 8.20. And so my first class is at 9.30. But I can't promise that I'm going to be done. There's been times where, like, in our doctor's offices that I've had to wait, like, two hours. Like, like from my appointment time. Like, they've had other patients come in that, like, really needed to see them or what have you, I guess. Um, and so I've been bumped or they just got behind for the day. I'm not sure. He shouldn't be behind that early in the morning, I wouldn't think. Um, but this is my first visit with him and I do want to make sure it's like a thorough visit. So we'll see. And then x-rays don't usually take too long. Sometimes they're a little bit of a line, but I wouldn't expect too big of a line in the morning. But if I was going to wait to see him and not see him on Monday, it wasn't going to be until December 29th before they could get me in. And so that's why I was like, um, no, I need to go now. So that's why there was like the sense of urgency, which wasn't really like a sense of urgency, but you know what I mean. So that's why I said I'm going to go Monday and do this. So I have to take a whole day off just in case because you can't just like go back and forth on a substitute or do a half day and then not be there in time. And then they might have trouble filling someone in for the second half of the day. And that's a mess. So it's just better if, like, you have any appointment to just be out the whole day. Unless you have an afternoon appointment, then that works, if that makes sense. So if I had an appointment at 1 o'clock, then I would only need a half day because I would know that, like, I could have a sub from 11 until the end of the day. But when it's in the morning like this, it's just one of those things where you just have to take the day off. So, um, and my other kids, the other two classes that I have that day, they're fine. They're... I get to see them one more time before finals and everything, so it'll be okay. They'll be fine. They're good kids, and they're small classes. And um, they can message me on Canvas if they have any questions. And it's also a Monday class, so I'm supposed to have them virtually all on Wednesday, so they can come to my live Zoom meeting thing with them if they have any questions. All right, so bottom washi. Here we go. I think I'm going to probably use that side one. Okay, so this is thinner than I had imagined in my brain. Um, for sure. So probably have to use that bow one then down here. We'll use the bow one underneath. I think. Is that what I want to do? I think that's what I want to do. We'll put this ice right here. My planner is doing that like curve thing. <laughs> I feel like, oh, we're a little, we're a little off center there. Just, oop, can I just, can I just? I think it will. Okay. I overshot it just a little bit. And we had to... I can't believe it let me have it back because I definitely like smushed it down pretty good. So thank ya. Thank you so much. 
So I will keep you guys updated. I did not go get that prescription because I don't think you should prescribe anything, at least in, for myself, um, until you actually know what the problem is. So, <laughs> um, and then I did get the number for the nerve specialist. Oh, and then the physical therapy people called me, um, and I was like, well, I'm actually going to go see a new doctor, so I don't want to schedule anything if he's like, no, that's not what So, and they were like, that's fine. Call us back when you find out. I'm like, okay. So, I don't know. Because I'm not sure what I need yet. Or, so, hopefully this guy will know. I will keep you guys updated. I've been trying to, like, remember to post in my Insta stories, just not, like, all the details, because it's... I don't know what people want to know, but I feel like if you're watching and listening, maybe you want to know all the details. I don't know. All right. So I think I'm going to put this one up top. Actually, I know how much silver snowflake washi do I need? A lot. Just, just deal with it. <laughs> That's what happens. I like all the snowflake washi. Oop. Why? I was like running my finger across it too fast and not looking because I was already... Turning my head looking for the washi cutter, my cricket scraper. So anyway, that is fiasco. That is my back. And honestly, my back has been bothering me for about two years, is what my husband says. Um, but usually I can roll it out or do yoga or he can squeeze me and we can adjust it ourselves. So the numbing thing is what we basically haven't been able to stop. And there's been a few times where I haven't been able to get it to pop. Um, so it causes problems. All right. So we need our theme sticker, which I did not pick one. So I think I'm going to go ahead and go with this one and then stick that quote hexagon thing on there. Where'd that go? I'm going to stick it on top of it. So it's going to be like a layered one. Okay, I go with this one. Or do I go up higher? I always forget. Why do I always forget? How long have we been doing this? Yes, definitely this one. There we go. Okay, I like that, and then I like this. I don't know how that would look. Is it wider? It's a little bit wider. And then is it taller? Wait, why don't we just do this? So it's a little bit wider, but it's just as tall, so <laughs> I think we're good there. Is that center? hope so. Hope so. Good enough. I like it. Got that snowy background. Did not use the weekend banner. Who's shocked? Who is shocked? Nobody. Because I always mess up. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to do my this week sticker. Put that down. Oh, sorry. That was my phone. That must be some kind of email thing because my texting is like a little jingle bell. I know. Okay. So I don't have. Um, full box checklist. So I'm gonna build my own. <laughs> That's you've seen me do it before. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna stack it on top of that one, and it's gonna be fun. So I do it that way, and then I have freestanding Monday through Sunday checklist here. One of my New Year's kits that I'm getting is actually from Planning and Blue Jeans, and it's the one with the blue mat. I'm excited for my Black Friday orders to get here that I ordered. <laughs> All the orders from my Black Friday sale have definitely gone out. <laughs> and the orders from this week, the rest of them will go out tomorrow morning. So, on Monday morning. So, there you go. Not tomorrow, because tomorrow, that's Wednesday for you guys. All right. So, I'm going to use this one. And then I have a header title thing. I have a header sticker for that. I don't need says anything. There is some on here. Isn't there some on here? Yeah, there's like to go to buy important reminders. There are some extra label headers. So then we're going to grab one of these. So we can have that on there. Order. And then we have habit trackers. Okay, so I think, I think, I think. I'm going to take this little guy. Put him right here. Bottom. Hopefully. There we go. Okay, put that down. And then 
There's two habit trackers, and that's all I really need. Anyhow. Anyhow. There's one here. One here. Isn't that cute? Yay. Okay. So I used all the full boxes. Ha ha. Go me. Okay. So we have halfy checklist and half boxes, some headers, some quarter boxes, two date covers and washi chunks, and those little flag teardroppy things. Weekend banner, there's some YouTube binge videos. Grab those planners. Twitter stickers. Twitter stickers. Oh, there's the other weekend banner. That's what I want to use. Okay, so I plan on Sundays. Planner time. There we go. Okay. That really threw me off for a second. I don't know why. Okay, so then I want this one. I'm so glad she has two weekend banners. These ones tend to work way better for me. Because I usually forget that I need to have one anyway. Okay. I'm going to scoot this over so that the tail isn't hanging out. And I just kind of went through that box. That's okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> We're just going to leave it there. <laughs> so, um, trash day for the office trash is Wednesday. Um, and then uh, a lot of the stuff doesn't apply to this planner. It just doesn't. It applies to, like, regular planner. So I don't think I'm going to do that. We'll just leave that alone. Okay. We'll leave the rest of that. Done with that. All right. As far as these go, I think I want to add them. So these are crackled header foil stickers from I'm a Sticker Addict. Ooh, I love it. Turns those headers into washi. What it feels like oh these are cut perfectly too good job girl yes i've had some before that have stuck i don't think they were hers like somebody else's but like hoping and then i don't know if i have overlays that i want to use just yet I'm trying to decide i think there's a couple i don't think i'm gonna bother with trying to do an oh, layer no i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm just gonna layer those on there <laughs> This is new for me, though. I don't usually use foiling overlays. Occasionally, I'll get them as a freebie, and I'm like, what do I even do with this? <laughs> I think it was the sticker patch that gave me, like, my first ones, and they were, like, it was, like, a Tinkerbell one, and I'm like, what do I do with this? <laughs> I think I stuck it in, in, like, a divider page or something. <laughs> uh, there's enough to do, do this four times on a sheet, and I think they're, like, 2 or $3, or something like that. In case you wanted to know. All right. And then I grabbed both of these because I wasn't sure what was going to work for me. But I was thinking, thinking this one would be cool on here. I got it centered. Um, but then I was like, it might cover up part of the bow. So then I was like, never mind. <laughs> and then I said, never mind. <laughs> what was the one that was like snowy? Yeah. Um... So like this one might be kind of fun, but I think it would cover up the mittens. I like that on there though. That's definitely gonna happen. Cause this looks like a snow globe. Put this on there. I also thought you had to do every single sticker, which you don't. Or at least I'm not. <laughs> Is you needed to know that. Alright, I think I'm gonna put the bow. Ooh, how would that look? That might look cute. What if we do that? We do like a little drop down bows hanging from the top of that present box. Oh, can I do it? There we go. Okay. I got it. Don't worry. I got it. Finally. Down there. Ooh, I like that. Okay, that's fun. And then, where is any other frosted ones? What about this one? Kind of frosting ish. It's kind of stuck there. Like perforate. Oh, I just tore the corner. Oh, that kind of ruins it. That didn't work. Not for me, anyway. Okay. Let's try this one. Yeah. I was thinking this one right here would look cute with some. 
sparkle. But I like that one. And then I think that's all I'm going to do. I was thinking about this one, but I just, I don't want to cover up the pretty bow. So then I go against it. I think that's all the foiling I'm going to do. Overlaying? Foiling? What am I calling it? I don't know. That's not right. I need this side. Okay, so new releases. Go in the shop on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. I don't think I said that when I said it about new releases. Shame on me. This is from Purple Panda Planner. Didn't need my to-dos. I do need new release stickers for the sidebar. Oh, no, that's that one. Right there. Okay, and then we have my character sticker. Oh, I like to put this on here. Okay, those are from I'm a Sticker Addict, too. I don't know where that went. I think it popped off. I'm like missing one right here, and that doesn't seem like something I would do. <laughs> doesn't. These are from Raindrops on Paper Co. That one right there. And then this is me doing listings. This is Adrian from Creative Caverns. So listings. And then um already did planning washi Wednesday. Where it's gonna let me have it. There we go. Washi Wednesday. And then orders, Twitter, sticker. Over there. There's this week's orders. This is the one I was looking for. And I was like, oh, that's not the right one. There you go. And then film stickers. Yeah, this is the crackle foil, but it's on like white mat from the sticker patch, which I like. Like this one. And then so I film on Sundays. Mondays. Supposed to be Sundays, Mondays, and Wednesdays, but Sometimes it turns into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or what have you. So, because I'm not filling orders on Wednesday, like new releases come out, and then I fill on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Kind of what happens. So then I'm mailing them out on Friday, Saturday, Monday. That's how that works. <laughs> okay, so I think that's how my spread is going to look this week. My back is starting to go now. All right, so I want to have the present on this side and then i'm gonna have the christmas 2020 and the ornament the ornament it has a loop <laughs> the stocking yeah that's too close to that one we'll put this over here that'll work and then we'll do the ornament over here and then the world's best cup of coffee and then we need snowball perfect and then i have my blue sparkly pen loop which i think i actually came out with around fourth of july <laughs> So this one didn't fit, which we were like, that was probably going to happen anyway. So I love to put my pen loops on my tabs. That's what I usually do. Um, but I usually like to grab one. Ooh, I just hit the mic with my elbow. Sorry. Um, I usually like to put it on a tab that's like more towards the center of the planner. But that's what I do. Because if you put it on the cover of the planner, then um, outside things can bump it off. So that's what I do. But yeah, so I'm really excited to start using um, some overlays from I'm a Socratic, My Spreads. I already showed you guys. What I added last week, oh, a paper clip. Nope, there we go. So I already showed you guys what I ended up adding to last week. So I'm excited to use that for the week that we're in. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, my charms are from Mers Charms, in case you want to check them out. Check her out, not them, her. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a like and please subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!